friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Advanced Agile Technical Tester. We completed the tutorials related to chapter 3 and now we are moving ahead with the sample questions on this chapter. As usual, the first thing is to understand what kind of questions you can expect as a part of this chapter. Uh, that is like we have altogether nine questions which can be asked to you where we see a uh, lot of uh, questions which will be appearing from the K2 but yet we do have two questions from K3 so seven questions from K2 and two questions from K3 and the number of points for this chapter is 11 as some of the questions will have more value in terms of K3 so let's quickly see some of the questions from this chapter the very first question is coming from the chapter 3 with respect to the development projects that is summarize the characteristics of the test automation in relation to the development projects. Now, of course, we are talking about the characteristics of the test automation, which is a very simple thing, uh, which we learned in the basics, but let's understand how typical the options will be from this. A, the test automation can play an important role in test environment configuration and test release acquisition. So generally, when you talk about the test automation creation, uh, it's really you know basic thing which talk about the test environment we talk about the you know test release so a lot of contributions are made with respect to the test automation the number of tests being automated will generally allow you to have a decision to be made with respect to the outputs on that and of course the test environment configuration is another important aspect but let's look at the other option as a sounds a quite good option for us as of now b in large projects there is usually one best solution that fits all needs and so on dedicated test automation strategies fits best. I think it's just wrong and the opposite is actually true when you talk about these strategies that is defined first and then the best solution comes into uh, the test automation to be followed after that. So strategies are always defined first to fit the automation into that. C, the test automation supports the goals of an iteration directly by reducing the regression risk associated with stability of the system. I think that's also not meeting the expectation because when you talk about automation supports the goal of iteration directly and that is by reducing the risk associated with the stability. No, when you talk about automation itself, of course, we have to have the other way around. That is, the system must be stable to apply the automation tool support to that. Whereas the supportive test automation effort has to be done in the teams of the iteration teams themselves. I think that should be defined uh, earlier because automation is just not limited to automating the test. It is also about automating deployment, build uh, deliveries or integration that is continuous integration and several other things. So that would not again fit into that. Uh, and it's, it's just not limited to the external team. Uh, it can be also done externally I mean other way around that is it's just not limited to the internal team it can also be done by an external team so that's nothing limited to that so as of now the right answer is a that is test automation can play an important role in test environment configuration and test release acquisition moving to the next question number two that is uh, an increased proportion of automated test coverage often leads to a greater degree of manual testing that follows reactive strategies because so here we are giving you a particular statement and they want to know why this particular statement is applicable in this case that is increased proportion of automated test coverage often leads to a greater degree of manual testing that follows reactive strategies so first of all we need to recall the learning from the reactive strategy that what exactly it is and then look at the option Reactive is always in terms of like how your progress happens, what exactly is ongoing right now. Based on that, you follow your upcoming steps. Look at A. Many of the tests can be prepared up front, will be automated, which enables the tester to spend more time for execution of manual tests. So I think this is one statement which says prepared upfront that means of course when it comes to the execution point of view we have the questions or scenarios to be floated because so the syllabus also says that an increased proportion of automated test coverage it leads to often manual testing which follows since many of the tests that can be prepared upfront will be automated so yeah that's the best thing to be applied at this point of time look at bcd b says an increase of the proportion of automated tests increases test coverage 
and the uncovered areas are to be tested reactively, which is contradicting as per the syllabus statement. If the proportion of the automated test increases, manual tests focus on the most risky areas, which are identified reactively. Uh, I think, you know, this is again contradicting with because the tests are prepared upfront and that does not apply to the option C here. D reactive strategies consider the current context and status of the project and system under test to be able to adopt to this current status most flexible, a greater uh, degree of manual testing is necessary. I think that's again contradicting because it says a uh, greater degree of manual testing is necessary, but of course the automation can be applicable in terms of reactive uh, approach. So when you are following reactive strategies, automation is utilized in, when the test cases are created in upfront. So B, C, D are actually contradicting or conflicting with the justification provided to you with respect to the syllabus and understanding of reactive strategies in agile approach. So the right answer is A, many of the tests that can be prepared upfront will be automated, which enables the tester to spend more time for the execution of manual test. Moving to the next question number three, that is the challenges described below are of the test automation in agile settings or agile projects, which is the correctly described one. So we are talking about the challenges, which is either related to the agile settings or agile projects, which one is correctly described here. Let's look at A, resources availability is a challenge in automating tests in agile settings as they are needed to create, maintain, and execute the test suites. I think the most recent tutorial, the previous tutorial yesterday, which we covered, was talking about the challenges of the automation, where we talk about the level of automation. It says that, yes, from time to time, your automation test gets piled up together, gets accumulated, because you have a very frequent uh, integration, continuous integration and continuous deployment, which is further automated again. So we have a lot of tests being piled up. So preparing and maintaining the test suites become a challenge. So having the resource allocated for that throughout the day or time when required is a very important parameter. So this is again looking the best option as of now, but let's look at BCD. B says unit testing automation is the most critical test automation needed in Agile and covers most of the testing challenges in Agile code quality as well as gives good code test coverage as well. Now, I think when you talk about the unit test automation is of course critical because uh, most of the time we spend in the unit testing during the Agile, but does not cover most of the code quality in Agile projects. It, the quality is defined even in the further levels I and mean, we talk about the system levels or non-functional levels. So one must include also integration and other things. So you know we, we are just not limited to unit testing when it comes to defining the quality. But of course it is critical, but not the second part of it. Let's look at C, the test deployment time is one of the challenges of the Agile testing as deployment shows is not possible in short iterations. I think uh, that we don't have to you know, pressurize much or stress much on because we're talking about the short iteration and we're saying that at the same time, it is very critical that the deployment is slow. I think deployment is very fast. So the test deployment time is, uh, is the more important thing. So the deployment time is of course uh, the other aspect of it which we cannot talk about. So yes, the test deployment time and deployment time is two different things. When you're talking about the continuous deployment and the test deployment. So this is not a challenge, which is other way around actually. D, test execution time is not critical in Agile as there are fewer tests written and they are designed as checklist or high level test, which reduces the time it takes to execute them. So I think it's just trying to say that we do not have any challenges in Agile at all. So we can actually rule out this option completely without even thinking on this. But yes, when it comes to test execution time, it is a challenge, of course, as increasing the test suites volume every sprint, it creates a load of tests needed to be run and tested. And of course, that's the reason we are looking at the option A, that is it requires a resource to be allocated for such activities uh, during that interval of time. So putting it all together, the right answer here is A, resources availability is a challenge in automation testing in Agile settings as they are needed to create, maintain, and execute the test suites. So I think these are the sample questions, but of course there are many other. So if you come across anything else, do let me know so that we can talk more about that. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, and keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team, and happy learning.